finding bra size is really easy. It's just two measurements. And today I'm going to go through what those two measurements are, how you work out your bra size, so that when it comes to buying bras, you know what size to buy. So before I get started, I'm going to explain what you need. You need a tape measure, you need a pen, and you need a piece of paper. These are the ideal things that you're going to need when it comes to measuring. Next, you need to wear your best fitting bra. And ideally that bra should be unlined and unpadded. So when I say unlined, I mean a bra like this that has no lining in it. You can even see the seams through it, as opposed to wearing something like this that's molded and it's gonna add extra size to your measurements. And you'll see why I'm telling you to wear something like this as opposed to this once we get into the video. So we take our tape measure and we're going to take two measurements. The first measurement we're going to take is the rib cage measurement, which is going to dictate our band size. So what I want you to do is grab your tape measure and you can do this on your own. And you measure just underneath your boobs, where your boobs stop, you'll measure just underneath there. If I turn around, you'll see but you want to have your tape measure level because what can happen is your tape measure goes down, it's going to adjust the measurements and you're not going to get an accurate fit. So grab your tape measure, take a deep breath in and then release it and then tighten your tape measure. So you take that first measurement and for me, that's 30 inches. That is going to be my starting point for my band measurement. I then need to take my, work out what cup size I am. So what I do is I take a measurement around the fullest part of my bust which is going to give me, again, the starting point. I'm gonna explain, there's a little bit of maths involved, not too much, it's not too difficult, it's not applied algebra, but there is a little. So we measure round the fullest part. So you really want to trace your nipples and that's why you want to have your best fitting bra because you want your boobs to be on the, in the center of your chest. If you're wearing a bra and your boobs are sagging or they're lower, it's not give, going to give you an ideal measurement. This bra is a pretty good bra. It's where my boobs are in the center of my chest, where they're supposed to be, if that's where you want your boobs to be. So I'm measuring here and I'm measuring 36. So we take this 36, we're going to translate this 36 inch measurement into a cup size. Now, how we do this is really simple and it's so easy. What we do is we take our band measurement. If you remember, mine was 30. We take 30 away from 36. That gives us a difference of six inches. Now, I know you're wondering how this translates into a cup size. I'm going to include a link to a handy chart that you can download, which will give you each inch's measurement and how it translates into a cup size. But for now, I'm just gonna work it out because I've done it so many times. It's six inches. Now, for every inch it equals a cup size. So A, B, C, D, double D, E if you're in the UK, or triple D if you're in the US. So my measurements are working out at 30, triple D, or E, UK. That's where my measurements lie. So this gives me my bra size. But what happens if your band measures a 29 or it measures a 33? What then? What happens if it's not a completely even number? Well, I'm going to show you how to work that out next. So what we need to do is look at if you actually hit an odd size for your rib cage. What do you do then? Because it's great if you're an even number, but if you're odd number, then let's show you how that works. So for instance, say for instance, your band measures a 33 and the fullest part of your bust measures 37. So what you do if you are an odd band size, what you do is you round it up. So you always round up, you never round down. And the logic being is if you round down, you would round down to a 32, which for most people would mean that the bra band would be way too tight. So you will always want to round up. So you would round up to a 34. And then you would take an inch away from the bust measurement. So this would change to 34 and this would change to 36. Do you see how I've done that? And then the difference would be two inches. So what you would be a 34A is one inch, 
B is true. So you'd be a 34B. Now this is just the very start of finding out your bra size. There is so much more that goes into it. You need to then know how brands fit, what breast shape you are. And I'm gonna leave links in the video, either this way or that way, explaining what to do once you have those measurements because this is a starting point. And if you do get stuck and you're like, I don't know how to do this, you can always contact us at Bras and Honey and we can arrange a virtual fit for you and do all the hard work for you. All you need to do is just turn up and we'll do the rest.